Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here, and as promised from last night's video of my movie review, The Lethal Weapon 3, I'm going to be reviewing Lethal Weapon 4. This is the most recent in the Lethal Weapon series. There was going to be a Lethal Weapon 5, but it's due to Richard Donner's death the, earlier this month. The fate to the fifth film is unknown. I would have loved to see a fifth one. Rest in peace, Richard Donner. So yeah, this movie starred... This is the 1998 sequel to the 1993 movie Lethal Weapon 3. And this movie stars Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Joe Pesci, Rene Russo, Chris Rock, and Jet Li. And this is probably... This is still my favorite out of the Lethal Weapon series. In my opinion, this is my favorite Lethal Weapon movie. And the same situation with the Lethal Weapon 3, I watched this movie on VHS because I don't know why it, 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 I can't watch Lethal Weapon 4 on HBO Max for some reason. I'm having technical difficulties or something. I don't know what it is. But this is a really great movie. This movie doesn't get the credit it deserves. This, is, this movie's my favorite out of the Lethal Weapon movies. And Jet Li's character... In this movie, Jet Li plays one of the it plays one of the more most deadliest enemies of Mel Gibson and of R R Martin Riggs and Roger Murtaugh. I think J Jet Li's character is probably the most deadliest foe in the in the Lethal Weapon series, the deadliest villain because he has martial arts skills and. In my opinion, Jet Li stole the show, and Chris Rock was great in this movie. He doesn't usually do action roles. This is more of a serious role with him in it. So yeah, I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. Before I, before, I stop, before I end this video, I'm going to show the VHS of this one. The gang's all here. And rest in peace, Richard Donner. Here's the spine, the other spine, top back. Rated R for violence and language, it's 127 minutes. I, I still hope they make a fifth Lethal Weapon movie, but I don't blame anyone if they don't want to make it. It doesn't matter. Because, honestly, I think the fourth one ended quite well. So I don't know if I if they would make a fifth one, but that would be cool. Here's the ink label print date is December 21st, 1998. Yeah, that is it for my review to the movie Lethal Weapon 4, and like I said, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. minus. This movie has like a 54%, I believe, somewhere between the 50s, but I think this movie deserves a 98, in my opinion, or at least a 92. This is a really, really great movie. There are some laughable moments in it, but this is a really great movie. If you guys haven't seen Lethal Weapon 4, and if you're a fan of the first three, I highly recommend you guys watch this one. So yeah, that is it for my review to the movie Lethal Weapon 4, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe, plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody, adios. Have a good day.